Colleges are taking their students' mental health into account and are offering students additional resources and counseling support after the conclusion of this trial. Way 31's Ashley Carter spoke to college students who say they are thankful for the support. A trial that sent shockwaves through the country may have concluded, but many are still left feeling emotionally drained. It's why universities across the country are finding ways to protect their students' mental health during these trying times by adding counseling services and providing mental health hotlines for students as they grapple with what comes next after the trial. I went to UAH to speak to local students about colleges taking these efforts, and they told me it's great thinking on the university's behalf. For universities to go ahead and take that leading step forward and try to resolve an issue before it could ever really build to happen. It's, it's, it's an innovative idea. It's really good. Tatum Cooper and Anissa Robertson both told me they believe universities taking students' mental health into consideration during these times makes them feel better. I know personally that when like the university sends out stuff about it and they offer like these extra services to like help with everything going on, it makes me feel like just like seen and better heard and it feels like I'm being acknowledged. UAH has not yet said if it will offer these additional services to students, but Cooper and Robertson said they're confident they will and they'd want to take advantage when they do. If they haven't already implemented something, something exactly like what you're talking about, they're definitely on the road to making it that way. If they definitely offered it, I think I would very much be interested. So fingers crossed. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.